guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Black Walter. Okay, so here we are. Can't remember what town we are. Oh, Driftvale Town. Driftvale Town. And, uh, yeah, we got a lot of stuff to do right here, like, uh, find interesting people like this guy right here. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and talk to this. The reason I'm hanging around is because I want to hang around. Ah. If my Pokemon just knew to uh, knew the move Surf, I would uh, go on top of the water. Oh, that's good for you right there. Uh, something else that you guys have noticed is that it is winter time. Look at that. We are finally in the snow, and uh, that probably means that we can actually grab a, a few I a few extra items that you know we'll be able to find right here. Now, if you go ahead and talk to this guy here, if he stops running away. His name is Charles, and he's like, I wanted to get the attention of a girl I like, so I learned a new style of Pokemon battling. It's name Rotation Battle. Wanna you uh, wanna learn it? Or wanna learn about it? Yes, I do. In Rotation Battles, you send out three Pokemon at a time in battle. One Pokemon takes uh, the, uh, the lead position, and the other two stand uh, on each side. The trick is, each turn you can change their positions, and that's, that's a rough explanation of Rotation Battles. I'm a heartbreaker, name is Child. Hey, if you want, if you're a trainer, how about a rotation battle? So let's go right ahead and just do this. This right here is going to be a little tough because uh, it's three against three. But you may, you don't know what kind of Pokemon he'll be choosing. So let's go right ahead and uh, and see what his team's got. And uh, as you can see, he's got a nice team right there. Zip Strike, Rock Rock, and uh, Basculin. So he's got a, a nice trifecta of Pokemon right here. And, uh, who crud? As you can probably see, he is going to... He is probably going to switch, so... Let's just go with the a Brick Attack, or Brick Break right here. And we're gonna just go straight for a Crunch on me. Not so effective. And, uh, let's go. Brick Break for the win. And, uh, that wasn't really for the win right here. Um... I'm not going to switch to Sigh of the Tor right here because he's got that Zeb Striker and uh, that's not cool right there. So actually, let's see, what do I have right here? We can rotate. Not that guy. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh crud. Let's see. Uh, this guy right here. He's got enough power, so let's go ahead and switch. Let's go with Fire Punch right here. So we're going to be switching. And he switches over to Croc Rock. And. Uh, oh wow, he's going to be increasing my attack. He's going to be increasing the physical physical attacker out of the attacker, and, uh, well, come on. Come on, Hotshot. God dang it. Some bullshit. Okay. Yeah, and as you can see, he, he did take a nice hit out of his thing, and, uh, wow, he is going to go for the Aqua Jet. So right now, Hotshot is not doing so well. He's not living up to his, nick his name right there, and look at that. Painted Pokemon. Ugh, crud, okay. So this is actually, this this is probably a good thing right here because this will actually enable me to go to Drillmonger and two of these Pokemon trainer, or two of these Pokemon I can actually, uh, I can actually be. And uh, as you guys probably already know, Drillmonger is a very, very good Pokemon right now and god dang it! Oh god, this, what the hell?! Oh god. Basculin is killing me right now. Alright, you little slut Basculin. Let's go with Ace. Ah, oh, crud. So right now, I'm, I'm two Pokemon down, and he's kicking my ass pretty badly right here. Alright, I'm gonna use a little takedown myself, and uh, this guy right here is gonna continue going with a takedown here. And uh, nothing. So here we go. Takedown. Eat this, Bascu Basculin. Suck on that. Okay, so Revenge Tour right now, and he's gonna be coming out with his uh, Ziv Strika. Now, he might switch, so I'm still going to go with the takedown attack, and look at that. He switches his Pokemon, and here we go. Takedown attack. And almost takes down this guy, this guy right here. God dang, okay, okay, so we can't use any items. Let's go with the Rock Smash right here, and that takes care of that. That's right, suck on that Zip Striker. Oh my god. If it is, this is why I hate freaking rotation battles because it's just, you don't know what kind of Pokemon he's going to come out with and here he comes out with his final Pokemon let's go right ahead and just destroy him wreck him Ace can sacrifice himself and here he comes with a spark attack oh god oh crud oh crud so we're paralyzed and 
we're probably going at the faint right here. And uh, yeah, we fainted. Sacrificed our body right there. And uh, here we go, Giga Lift. Let's take care of business right now. I don't care if you're a flying type Pokemon. I'm just gonna destroy you. I'm gonna wreck you right now with a little Psy Beam. And uh, is he charging? No, he. Ah, oh, crud. I am a human vegetable right now. There we go. Oh, yes. Let's go, let's go. And that is how you do it right there. I'm still a little pissed off right now. I really am about that. So, didn't go with, it didn't go to plan. I am not going to battle you anymore right there. Uh, he says go to Opalescent City just to, you know, take care of the... Or just to go for more uh, rotation battles right there. Now, we're just going to be taking care of a few things. Visiting this place. And then after that, you know, we'll go into the next episode. I'm grateful that you came all this way. Are you a trainer? Oh, you have a Pokedex. It's mar it's so marvelous. I wonder if you would please do me a favor. Sure, why not? We're a nice guy. I would like to see a Pokemon that learned to move Rock Smash. To be clear, that's Rock Smash. Please show it to me today. Oh my my! Your herdier can uh, use Rock Smash. Did you go uh, or do you, did you go to the trouble of teaching it uh, to your Pokemon? Marvelous! This is a small token of my appreciation. Please don't hesitate to accept this. And look at that. We got ourselves a heart scale, which will actually help us, uh, you know, teach our Pokemon new moves and all that crud. And uh, let's see. Nothing else right there. And uh, well, let's see. You know there are many kinds of Pokemon. Different kinds of Pokemon can learn different kinds of moves. Okay, I already knew that. Okay, so let's see. We are in the winter time right here. And I was actually... I'm actually happy that it's winter because... I don't normally, you know, finish this whole thing in the winter. And another thing too, guys, while I was uh, while I was recording this whole thing right here, like, let's go ahead and take a look at my badges. Look at that sparkly badges. Now you're gonna be seeing my mouse here. When I first started this, it was on uh, December or March 15th. March 16th, I won the basic badge. March 19th, I won both the insect and bolt badge. Look at that, and. While I'm recording this, it's, uh, what, what was it, April 17th, so yeah, I took a nice break from, uh, playing Pokemon Black right here, mainly because I was, uh, doing my Pokemon Omega Ruby and, uh, Liquid Crystal Walkers right there, but, you know, we got enough, uh, we got enough episodes that we walked into, you know, enough episodes for every single walkthrough right here, so I wasn't being a slouch or anything. And, uh, this lady right here is telling me that, yes, uh, that guy Charles bought everything I had. Oh, <laughs> Trying to uh, impress somebody right here. Somewhere there's a laid back town where people uh, value the year's seasons. I heard uh, we've imported a lot of goods from that town. I wonder what town that would be. Now, this place right here, you can actually buy some uh, berries, I believe. Let's see, let's see. Pokemon. Show me a Pokemon level 30 or more. Oh, strong. You're great. Take this. We find ourselves an expert belt, which, uh, I guess. It increases the attack of a Pokemon, maybe? I don't even know. The focus, maybe. Nah, it's not that. That's the focus band. Alright, straight from the farm. We can actually buy Moo Moo Milk. So, we're gonna buy them by the dozen right here. Since we do have enough money. Pokey Dollars, I should say. I know I've been harped on for the Pokey Dollars. Now, I see an item right behind there. So, we're gonna be going straight back right here. And, uh, let's see. Where are we? Grabbing this little bastard. And we found ourselves a big pearl. That's always nice. Now, let's see. Is there anything else? Now, I won't be going down there because that's where the Ice Shack or Ice Air... Well, what was it? The Ice Factory? I can't remember what it was. That, that will be our next mission right there. But I'm just going to take it easy right now. And, uh, well, let's see. This guy's like, Hey, uh, the professor gave you a Pokemon to start with uh, from your journey, right? If that Pokemon is still with you and if you have uh, a strong bond, there's a special move I can uh, it can learn. Want me to teach it the battle combo move? Sure! Which Pokemon should learn this move? And, uh, wow, that is, uh, that is kind of embarrassing seeing half my Pokemon team freaking, uh, yeah, half my team fainted and all that stuff. Now, want me to teach Water Pledge? Sure, let's see. What is Water Pledge? Let's see, let me see, let me see. Water Pledge. A column of water strikes the target when it combined with its, uh, with its fire equivalent, the damage increases into and, and, and the rainbow appears. Oh, that's cool. I will not teach it though because I don't have its uh, fire equivalent and all that stuff. No, crud. I didn't want to do that. Hold on. I'm going to be pressing that button. 
And no. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we'll, we'll, we'll save him for a little bit later on right here. And uh, let's see, we're going to be going up right here. Hold on just a sec. And uh, let's see. I work in the cold storage. That's what it's called. My bad. Hmm. The cold storage is in the southernmost part of the city. Okay. And a terrific trainer. Let me share uh, a training tip with you. During a battle with a trainer, even if your Pokemon's items taken away, don't worry. They will be returned to you safely after the battle. But disposable items seem to disappear. Okay. I kind of already knew that. I yeah, I already knew that, and uh, kind of scary right there. So let's see. Uh, let's go right here, and uh, let's see what we got. Talk to this guy. Hey, hey, hey. let's jump on this. Uh, we'll trade my Basculin for your Mangino. Yeah, that's not a good trade right there because, yeah, Basculin, annoying ass Pokemon right here. So this guy he's like, hoo-ha, you have a Pokemon, a Pokedex. How many Pokemon have you found? If you find 50 or more, I will give you something, uh, something sure to delight. How many Pokemon did I capture or find? Look at that Pokedex. It's looking pretty cool right here. And crud! I got one more Pokemon to look at. Okay. I didn't want to do this, but I'm going to have to do it because uh, I kind of want to see what he gives me and all that stuff. Let's see. Hold on. Actually, what, what the hell am I doing right here? Hold on. There's nothing else right there. And You know what? First, let's go ahead and take, finish off the tour right here. And then we'll go find that 50th Pokemon right there. And let's see. The old guy at Route 6 is searching for legendary Pokemon. If you're interested, go talk to him. Do not know who it is? I will go find him eventually. And uh, here we are somewhere. Let's see. People who visit the Interlink hit items somewhere. The Interlink is, is unique, isn't it? I guess. Never used it. This happened to me once after I crossed the bridge. When I was at, at a loss, the person who helped me was a total stranger. After all, helping each other is important in life. True, I guess. And living is using time given to you. You should not lose your time. Don't forget that. Yeah. Okay, so this is not important right here. I'm kind of like wasting time right here. And we're going to be going down. And uh, we're going to try and find something else right here. There's something going on around here. As you can see, this is where you're actually going to find the Drifail uh, gym. And uh, let's see, talk to this guy, our gym leader. Clay is in the middle of something right now. Please come later, or come see him later. Okay. Alright, let's get that 50th Pokemon. There is a Pokemon here that you can actually find. And I'm assuming that I didn't actually see him before, but I'm going to go right here. Right here, just to look for him and all that stuff. And if... There he is! So there it is. A wild Deerling has appeared. And Deerling is one of these Pokemon that can actually change their appearance off of the seasons. And, uh, well, that is that. And this little bastard right here just, like... Oh, crud, what the hell? Yeah, not effective. I'm gonna run away. Leave me alone, dearling. Oh, my God. Okay, you know what? You want me to battle you? I'm gonna battle you right now. Let's do this. Let's go with a big break. And uh, this little bastard has double kick. Oh, God. Alright, finish him off right here, Shatter. Break, break. There we go. And... Uh, there goes that Deerling. Now, I was interested in capturing a Deerling, but I don't know how it will benefit my team somehow, because it's both a normal and grass type Pokemon. So, let's see if I actually found this 50th Pokemon, and yes it is. Okay, 50th Pokemon. Let's go get that reward and crud. Why must you take this away from me? Look at that, it's a Fungus. Fungus. Okay, let's see. Uh, I'm gonna get the heck out of here because I do not want to battle you right now. Fungus. Okay, let's go right ahead and uh, get that little item. And uh, we'll be happy for another year or two. Hold on, what? Let's see, let's see. Where are you, you little bastard? Right here. Okay, so let's see. Uh, you have a Pokedex. How many Pokemon have you found? Yes, I found 50 Pokemon. This is for you. We got ourselves a Shell Bell, which does heal your Pokemon every turn. Just like he said, a Pokemon holding the Shell Bell recovers its HP a little bit if it inflicts damage during a battle. But what's more important is this: Have you ever have you shown the Pokedex to the professor? Kinda, maybe. I don't know. Kinda don't talk to her very much. 
but yeah, yeah, it is what it is. Anywho, guys, this has been the tour of uh, Driftvale City. We're going to be going down to the cold storage in the next episode. And then after that, we're going to be uh, big pippin', doing our thing, you know, traveling the whole region of uh, Unova and all that crap. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.